Amen. Amen. I want to thank God for our choir. Yes. I pray that the anointing of God will continue to be upon you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We have too many people standing up. Can you please sit? Please sit. Those who should be standing up at this time know themselves. Those who should not be standing up know themselves. I thought I'd give a man a seat in the front. What is he doing at the back? I will have to put your seat next to mine. Come and sit beside behind me here. Behind me. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, since we welcome people, since we were trying to welcome people who are worshiping with us for the first time, I think some other people have come in. So if you are worshiping with us for the first time, I want to welcome you. Can you please wave your hands to the Lord? Brother, God bless you, sir. Sister, God bless you. You are welcome in Jesus' name. The Lord, God bless you. Will you please stand up so we can welcome you? Amen. Will you please stand up? God bless you. We are happy to meet you. I pray that today the Lord will bless you, that the Lord will hear you today, that the hand of God will be with you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will hear your cries today in the name of Jesus, that God will help you, help you to finish strong in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. We are very happy to see you. Amen. Amen. And uh, God, Lord God Almighty will answer your prayers today. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Please let us all be seated. We do not want... Benga, come inside. You have no seats there. Come inside. Amen. Amen. Are you in the teenage, teenager class? Then what are you doing back in the... In, Okay, God bless you, son. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's one of our experts, projectionists. And he does a good job. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We pray that even as we have been serving you and worshiping you and praising your name today, that you will receive our sacrifice of praise today in the name of Jesus. Today, my Lord and my God, we pray, even as we go into your word, that you will speak to us. The entrance of your word brings light, O oh Lord. Let our hearts be illuminated. Let our lives be illuminated. Lord God, I pray that you will give us, Lord God, fresh understanding this morning. In the name of Jesus, as your word goes forth, let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Let yokes be broken. Amen. Let bodies be lifted. Amen. Let joy return. Amen. Let your name be praised. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. For the past two weeks, brethren, we've been looking at the word of God from 2 Chronicles chapter 26, from verses 1 to 20. We have been looking at this passage. The first time we looked at it, one of the things that we said is that everybody needs a coach. That we should not go it all alone. You cannot be all Lord and Master to yourself. It can lead one to destruction. That was the first part of this message. 
The last second part of this message that we saw is that help comes from above. Help can only come from God. A man can only promote you as far as his, as far as he himself is able to go. Obama will never promote you to presidency of the United States. If I want to lift you up, I can only lift you up as far as my height goes. I can't lift you up higher than my height goes. I can only lift you up as far as I to even if I stand on my toes as I'm standing on my toes. Some of you thought I was that tall. You know? I can only lift you up as far as my height goes. If you ask me to lift you up standing here to this structure above, I'm not able to do it. A man can only promote you as far as his own ability goes. Help comes from God. The Bible says promotion comes neither from these. I believe that's um, Psalm 76, I believe that's 5. It says promotion comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Promotion comes only from God. Beloved, it is enough. We've done enough looking up to people for our help. We need to stick to the one that can do all things. The one who made all things and by whom all things were made. The one by whom, with whom nothing shall be impossible. The one who is mighty, who is glorious. The one who is powerful. The one that is called the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let us stick to him. That is where our help is going to come from. We've done enough looking up to people. Let's look up to God. Help is in God. Help does not come from any man. That was the message last week. And today, my message to you is that you must do every, everything you can in this world to finish strong. You have to finish strong. Starting a project, starting something is not difficult. Anybody can start anything. If I like tomorrow, I can send a letter to people. I'm starting a church on a Route 13. And anybody can do anything. But to finish is the key. To finish strong is the key. The Bible says over and over and over and over and over that only he who endures to the end shall be saved. When the Bible talks of endure, the word endure by itself does, it does not connote any kind of enjoyment. It does not connote pleasure. Enjoyment. Enjoyment means it is not easy. Can somebody help me with my children there? Amen. And, and, and enduring means it's not easy, but you struggle through it. The Yoruba translation, when I was growing up, the way they would translate that is they would say, Enitoba foriti dokwe laogbala. The literal translation of literal, if you translate it literally, just the words alone, it means he who uses his head to push it. You use your head to push it through to the end. It means you're going to be, when you are pushed, it's me. Isn't that what for it means? Is, did I translate it correctly? It means he who uses his this from you. I mean, we've known that this means it's not easy, but you are using your head, your power to push it. Push it through to the end. Beloved, starting something is not difficult.